Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment. Hit that like button. Hit that. Hit the subscribe button. Comment below. Share. Do all of that, man. I'm a little under the weather, but I'm gonna try to get through this because you know yesterday was a big day. Okay. Um, Deontay Wilder, he won the arbitration. There will be a third fight with Tyson Fury, right? So everyone's celebrating. You know, I'm happy about it because you know, first of all, we have it's a big fight, big fight news, and we're excited about it. Right? I want to see what's gonna happen. Whether you're a Fury fan, whether you're a Wilder fan, you want to you want to see that fight. You want to see if Wilder's gonna get his revenge. You want to see if Fury's gonna smash Wilder and hopefully be you know make him go away and make him be done for his career, make him retire, whatever. Bottom line is you need to tune into that fight, right? So the announcement was made. Everybody went crazy. Twitter went retarded. Um. Instagram, all social media was just going crazy. Interviews were done. Great time. Great day. Everything was great for Wilder fans. But unfortunately for Fury and AJ fans, it wasn't a great thing, right? I seen a quote from Bob Arum saying it was a, you know, they, they made a bad decision and, you know, they're not going to pay it. Wilder step aside money and they're going to go ahead and beat him. I seen an interview with um, Eddie Hearn talking about the situation. Matter of fact, I'm about to play it for you guys. It's just it's just a weird thing. My question to you guys is, did did Eddie Hearn and Team Fury lie to the fans? Here goes Eddie Hearn. Deal in place with Tyson Fury. We provided an unbelievable opportunity to him. You know, we were told by his team, Bob Arum, that you know the arbitration wouldn't be an issue. We could move forward with this fight. They were wrong. And that's on them. That's their responsibility. That's now their problem. We hope they can solve that problem. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. So Eddie Hearn, I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but Eddie Hearn just came out and said that, you know, they were told him and his team and Anthony Joshua were told by Bob Arum and, and Team Fury that, you know, the arbitration and Tyson Fury and, and, and Deontay Water situation would be handled. Wouldn't be a problem. We go ahead and make this this Fury and AJ fight, everything would be go. Everything would be good. It would be all a go. Apparently not. Apparently somebody lied to you. This is why I think Eddie Hearn and Team Fury lied to their fans, right? First of all, as a fan of Eddie Hearn, uh, uh, Bob Arum, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, just think about this. You guys had to have been annoyed with the constant unofficial official unofficial news that this fight was going to be happening right just the the whole just oh we signed the contracts then it's five minutes later Dyson Fury say oh we didn't sign the contract or they didn't sign the contract or you know I'm gonna beat AJ and blah 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 and and AJ coming back and saying he's all talking no action and you know first they had a date first the fight was signed in in, in a you know, it's 50-50 split, and both fighters are going to make $100 million a piece over in Saudi Arabia. Then they didn't have uh, funding. Then it was, it's just all of this extra stuff for an unofficial fight. Then it was going all across ESPN at the bottom of the little ticker, saying, you know, the fight's agreed upon, and blah, blah, blah. And, bro, listen, I think, in my mind, I'm not, I don't know if I'm right. I don't know if I'm wrong. But all I know is something isn't right about this whole situation. But I think Tyson Fury, Bob Arum knew that they were going to lose against Deontay Wilder. They knew they had to give Wilder this, this third fight, right? The reason why I say that is there's rumors that, that Tyson Fury's team, Bob Arum, already have the Raiders Stadium at, like, I believe, July, sometime in July. They already have it reserved. It's just funny how the day after Bob Aram comes out and says we're not paying Wilder step aside money, you know, already we got to read, we got Raider Stadium, you know, saying already reserved. Wait, 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 wait. Why would you have Raider Stadium reserved if you, you, you guys were just talking about doing AJ and Fury over in Saudi Arabia in like August? I'm confused. So you had that stadium reserved in July. For July. But meanwhile, you're supposed to be trying to negotiate and the deal was supposedly done for Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury for August. That isn't that's not kind of weird, y'all. That's not kind of weird. 
Hmm. Hmm. That's that's number one, right? Number two, Eddie Hearn side. Listen, I don't think Eddie Hearn wants to take a chance and possibly losing and, and possibly having AJ lose again. Okay. He went through enough stress. He went through enough of, of having his cash cow almost get his titles, uh, almost get beat twice against Andy Ruiz. That first one was a shocker, shocked the boxing world. All right. It was a chance that Andy Ruiz could have possibly ran off with the belts if he would have, you know, defeated Anthony Joshua in the second fight. That would have that that would have taken all of the power that Eddie Hearn has in the heavyweight division over the PBC. Eddie Hearn would have been in no man's land. He would have had all those signed heavyweight fighters, but no title to give them. No title shot, no kind of uh, uh, trinket, no kind of reward, no kind of nothing, no golden ticket, none of that. That would have been very interesting, but unfortunately it didn't happen, right? So Eddie Hearn is saved. Eddie Hearn is saved. Now, I don't think he wants to put Anthony Joshua in there with somebody that could possibly beat him. Like I said, he doesn't want to go through that situation again, right? It's just a very complicated situation. It's complicated but simple. I think Joshua does want to fight the best. Usually when a super big fight like this happens between two big juggernauts, uh, unif not a unification, but like an undisputed type of thing, it's usually kind of like a cash out. Joshua, I'm not sure how old Joshua is. I think he's early 30s. Tyson Fury's early 30s. Even if they had a two-fight deal, Tyson Fury is the most, he's the most unpredictable, uncontrollable fighter in the game. He literally has done everything in the boxing world. Accusations of him cheating in various fights. Um, tested positive. Openly ducked guys, came back, says he would fight someone, then come, then gets mandated to fight someone and just pulls out of the fight. He's retired. You know, he's blamed blamed uh, his his actions on on certain mental illnesses. You know, and and salute to anyone dealing with the mental illness. But this man has literally done every and anything he wants to do. Affiliations with certain uh, notorious figures in the game. Says he wants to go get uh, hookers and, and and drugs after a fight. You know, it's just weird. It's weird how people just turn a blind eye, right? So. If, if I'm Bob Arum, I think I want to be associated with heavyweight boxing because I want a piece of, of the money because everybody knows the money is in heavyweight boxing, right? So I want to be affiliated with uh, Tyson Fury. That's why he became his um one of his, one of his co-promoters, especially in America. He Tyson Fury needed a promoter in America, right? So it, Bob Arum, Frank Warren teamed up. But now what happens? What happens if Tyson Fury has been told by a judge he has to fight Deontay Wilder and he simply refuses? What happens with the damages, the, the, the fees, the, the, the fines, everything that would be put on Tyson Fury and his team? What happens? Do I think that Tyson, Team Fury and Team Hearn played their fans? Yes. I do think they played their fans. I think I think Anthony Joshua was, was played by Eddie Hearn once again. I kind of feel bad for Anthony Joshua because I think he really does want to fight the best. He knows he's not fighting the best. He's fighting guys that he is the favorite to win. That fight between him and Wilder, we don't know what's going to happen. The fight between him and uh Anthony, I mean him and Tyson Fury, we don't know what would happen. And that's the sad part about boxing because it seems to be a theme in boxing. How it's always, especially nowadays, it's like the promoters are protecting their fighters. And I get it. We want their, we want them to get their money. We want all, everybody to make their money. But as a fan, I think a lot, I think I could speak for a lot of fans that say, hey, we want to see some good fights. We want to see a fight where it's like a 50 50 fight where, oh man, I don't know. I don't know who's going to win this one. It's all about business. I get it. It's all about. Their team, you know, both teams protecting their fighters. But if you got something like this in a Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua fight that's been lingering, lingering fight after fight, delay after delay, and the fight's on, then the fight's off, and we signed the contract. Oh, we didn't sign the contract. And oh, we're going to get 
three, I'm going to get a hundred million dollars per fight I mean, for fighter over Saudi Arabia. Then it's, oh no, we can't do it because the fan, you know, I just really think about it. They were going to put supposedly, allegedly, they were allegedly going to put a fight in Saudi Arabia in August. Just think, just think about that. Last time, last time, uh, Anthony Joshua fight, I mean, fought in Saudi Arabia. It was in, I believe it was in December against Andy Ruiz, the second fight. December. Temperature, ladies and gentlemen. Temperature change, ladies and gentlemen. Let me, you know what? Let me look this up. Because I could be wrong, but I'm just thinking about the scorching degrees that it could be in Saudi Arabia in the month of August. I just, I can't. I can't. I just, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even looking this thing up. Bottom line is, listen. Bob Arum wants to protect Tyson Fury, but Bob Arum already knew that they had to fight Deontay Wilder the entire time. But guess what? Let's let's just put this stuff out there. Let's just play with Eddie Hearn. He, Eddie Hearn has ties to the Middle East. He has ties to that market. He's done fights out there. Bob Arum needs to negotiate with Eddie Hearn's people over in saw with Eddie Hearn and also talk to the princes over there and get connections. Duh. That's why Bob Arum wanted to do that. That's why Bob Arum and, and Team Fury lied to the fans. They knew they were fighting Wilder the entire time. ESPN and all these, these big writers, these fake writers that's over here trying to hate and, and disrespect Deontay Wilder, they knew what was going on. Shame on y'all, man. Straight up. Y'all just disrespected Deontay Wilder. And guess what? Deontay Wilder, I think he's only did maybe one or two interviews. Maybe two or three interviews the whole time since his defeat to Tyson Fury. And y'all still don't like him. He's not the one out here lying to y'all. This man lost the second fight, however you want to call it. Controversy, no controversy, whatever. He lost the second fight. Wants to fight and get his belt back. How was that not respected? Tell me, how was that not respected in the sport of boxing? I don't understand it. Other guys lose and run away from the smoke. He loses and he lost very badly. And he runs right. He wants to run right back to it and right his wrong. How was that not respected? I thought this I thought this sport of boxing was was a gentleman's sport. Right. I thought it was. A, the, one of the most manliest sports in the game. Two men enter a ring, fight it out one on one. This man took his loss and wants to come back. His spirit is not broken. That's the crazy part about it. Everybody, all the water haters, Eddie Hearn, Tyson Fury, everybody's saying Wilder's crazy. His spirit's broken. He's not mentally there. No, that's what they wanted him to do. But guess what? He stayed focused. They handled, Team Wilder handled their business behind closed doors. We have a contract for a reason. You're going to abide by the contract, Team Fury. And that's what happened. So guess what? Team AJ, you guys can try to build up this fight with Tyson Fury and their team. You guys can continue lying to the fans. You guys literally strung the fans along for what? How long? Six, eight months? Just really think about that. Oh, we did it. Like, this is so disrespectful, bro. Eddie Hearn, Bob Arum, Anthony Joshua, and Tyson Fury disrespected this, the fans of boxing. They disrespected y'all. So guess what? All your, all your, all your Team Fury, Team AJ fans. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to see the. You know, I. You know, I, no, I do. I want to see the tears. I want to hear the frustration. I want to see how mad y'all are. I don't care because it's y'all's fault. Y'all knew what was going on. We told you what was going on every day. We were telling y'all what was going on. Everybody knew what was going on behind closed doors. You knew Deontay Wilder wanted that third fight. And y'all still, y'all hated that man that much. You don't, you didn't care. You wanted to move on. Well, guess what? You can't move on. He said, no, you got to go through Wilder. And y'all better hope Wilder doesn't get that, that belt back. Oh, you better hope. Because what happens to Tyson Fury if he loses? Just really think about it. What happens? What happens? Will you guys be calling for undisputed between AJ and, 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 and Deontay Wilder? Oh, don't change the energy now. I, I thought you guys want to undispute it because it's funny. Like I said, it's funny. Tyson Fury gets the belt. Now all of a sudden, AJ wants undisputed. 
I thought Deontay Wilder was trying to make Undisputed for years. Right? I thought he was trying to make Undisputed with AJ for years. First, it was his fault, their fault. Uh -huh. Yeah, all I hear is excuses. I don't want no, I want the best to fight the best, especially at the heavyweight division. All three guys need to fight each other. That's it. But when it comes to this situation, I honestly and truly believe Bob Arum and Team Fury, Eddie Hearn, Team AJ, they all lied to their fans. So the only people don't, the Team Fury shouldn't be mad. No, everybody should be mad. Team Fury and Team AJ, all your fans, UK fans, salute to the UK fans, the real UK fans. But all you guys should be mad at Bob Arum and Eddie Hearn for lying to y'all. Straight up. Interview after interview, uh, uh, fight after fight that they were trying to promote in between. Come on, bro. It was never an official announcement. Eddie Hearn couldn't keep his mouth shut. They were trying to roll with it. Bob Arum doing interviews. Bob Arum going on different platforms saying that that Wilder lost the arbitration. Okay. I thought, wait, wait a minute. How can he lose the arbitration months ago when it was just ruled that he won yesterday? That's funny. See, see how they be lying? That's just funny how Tyson Fury, Eddie Hearn, and Bob Arum can get together. And they are known in the boxing world as one of the, some of the biggest liars of all time. And every all their fans still clamor around them and believe them. How? That's crazy to me. They're all supposed to be on the same side and they're all saying different things at the same time. And yet they still don't want to believe that Deontay Wilder was going to get it. That's funny to me. Y'all sat there and believed three liars. I'm not putting Frank Warren into it because I don't even give a crap about Frank Warren. I really don't. No disrespect to him. But in this situation, Eddie Hearn is a liar. He lied to their fans. Joshua should be the one that's pissed off about the whole situation. I have an idea of who uh, Anthony Joshua's next opponent is. It's most likely not who you guys think it is. But, you know, once that information is leaked, then, hey, it'll be put out there. But um, I can't believe you guys. You guys really believe Bob Arum. You guys really believed Tyson Fury and Eddie Hearn. Oh, my God. Three-headed monsters, man. Three-headed liars. You guys got to live with that. You guys aren't getting your little undisputed fight. <laughs> That's funny. You guys, are, you UK fans that hate Wilder so much, you guys are not getting the fight. First of all, you weren't even getting it on UK soil. So that's the first slap in the face for y'all, right? Biggest fight in UK history is not even going to be on UK soil. They took that away from y'all and sold y'all out to get as much money as possible and took it to Saudi Arabia. That's disrespectful. That's, that's, that's number one. Number two, and the fight's not even happening. Because everybody's sitting there believing different lies, telling different lies to the fans, the media, and everybody. That's crazy. Hit that like button, comment below, share. Let me know how you guys feel. Hit that subscribe button, man. I just want to talk with y'all real quick. Drop this quick little live. I'm still a little under the weather. <sighs> but it's still a great day. Because guess what? Deontay Wilder's getting the trilogy with Tyson Fury. AJ, who you fighting? Eddie Hearn. Get, now, everybody get ready for Eddie Hearn to start going on his little interview, you know, his little interview tours and start talking about why the fight didn't happen. Enjoy. Get ready for the excuses. I want to see the tears, ladies and gentlemen. I want to hear the tears hitting the computer screens. I want to hear the tears hitting your cell phones. I want to hear the tears hitting pieces of paper if you are in school. I want to hear, I want to see the hopes and dreams of Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua just be shattered. Oh, it's a glorious day. Y'all hit the like button. Comment below, share, do all of that. It's your host, F. Merritt, Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment. I'm gone. Enjoy your day. <laughs>